A lot of the very cool gang has showed tremendous interest in the Hercules line of tools, and we indeed brought those tools in and tested them. A lot of them performed very well, but some of them, when it came down to the value price proposition, it didn't make much sense. But we still got tons and tons of comments about new tool offerings coming out of Harbor Freight, especially the Hercules line of tools. It just so happens that Harbor Freight called us. Harbor Freight said to us, we would love for you to show off our new offerings to the very cool gang. How about we send over those tools to you? I said, sure thing. They told me they'd send them on over. Full disclosure, Harbor Freight sent these to us. Now, for some of you that say there's no way this could be unbiased, I challenge you to watch this entire video, get our real reaction, get the information, then leave a comment at the end if you feel that it's biased in any way in favor of Harbor Freight or Hercules. Here it is. Let's get on with it. So here's the deal. I'm going to start with the offerings that I'm least excited about and then work my way up to the offerings I'm most excited about. Hercules and Harbor Freight sent over their job site fast charging station. It's a multi-voltage dual port charger with dual USB. I'm going to tell you that in the past, testing their single port chargers that we bought and paid for, <laughs> that their chargers do a fine job. I don't know that they're necessarily on the cutting edge of, of charging technology. I don't really believe that they are. What is great about Harbor Freight's chargers are, if you buy the dual voltage charger, you have the ability to charge batteries for both their 20 volt and 12 volt platform. What they've added into this charger, which I think is pretty cool, is they have two USB ports, so you could charge smart devices. I think it's a nice accessory that they've added. It says, charge from all ports at once. You know what they say, any port in a storm. There you go, so if your batteries are running low, it doesn't matter, you wanna get them charged, this is, this is it. This is product number HC06. As far as a warranty from Harbor Freight goes, it says we guarantee this product to be free from defects in material and workmanship 90 days from the date of purchase. With the ability to buy an additional two year warranty on top of that, if you, if you choose. And I think that uh, Harbor Freight's play is instead of rolling the cost in multi-year warranty into the tool, they'd rather bring the price down. But do they really bring the price down? Is it really more affordable? Well, the price for this dual port charger is $59.99. Having that piece of information, you should probably compare it to other multi-port chargers and decide, is, is that a real value? For the people that did purchase this multi-port charger, they've left customer reviews on Harbor Freight's website. This charger, out of five stars, ranks at 4.8 stars pretty doggone close to five stars. It says 95% of customers would recommend this item. And when we went through those 23 customer reviews, we were met with verified buyer in those reviews. Now, we'll read you one from February 13, 2021. It's from Eric. It says, I like that I can charge multiple batteries, 12 volt and 20 volt, and also my phone and even my wife's phone too. It seems like most people are happy with this. You can see here, we have a legend not me, the, on, the, on the charger, of this, the battery status for the lights here. We have our dual USB ports. We have our dual port charger. Let's move on to the batteries here. We have a two and a half amp and a five amp hour battery. These batteries do look very similar to the wall batteries. And they just do. It's a five amp hour battery, product number HC01. It's delivering 100 watt hours, okay? The two and a half amp hour battery, Okay, is HC02, it's delivering 50 watt hours. They have a nice rubber cushion at the bottom. I don't really remember the other Hercules batteries that we have being like this. This seems pretty nicely constructed. Let's get it plugged in. All right, we're met with status lights. Two red lights. This means it's doing nothing. It's, it's on stop, okay? We'll plug in our two and a half amp. We have a flashing green and a red. It means it's charging. I have a, a Pixel here, which is an Android phone. And if we plug into the correct port, we will get what's called rapid charging from our 
the voice. If we plug in this type C cable, you'll see we're just charging. This was a type C port or even maybe a, uh, like a 3.1 port. We would get rapidly charging, but that's not what this is. So it's a, it's a slow USB port. As for the batteries themselves, for the two and a half amp compact battery, you're looking at $34.99. For the five amp hour battery, you're looking at $64.99. Let's move on. To the dual power fan. Now here's the thing, me personally, these small personalized size fans, I don't really use them, but a lot of you seem to love them. It is only 20 volt or 120 volts. So it's corded or cordless. You'll see it's product number HH107B. It says legendary performance. 300 CFM up to 10 hours of runtime. I, I would think that it would be unlimited runtime. Okay, cause it's corded, but okay. I think this feature is pretty cool. 120 degree adjustable fan head. Tool only, battery charger, extension cord sold separately. Yeah, that's what tool only means. You'll see here, it has seven and a quarter blade diameter, provides up to 11 mile per hour and 300 CFM airspeed for a cool work area. 120 degree adjustable head, compact lightweight design with built-in carrying handle, wide range of variable speed control, durable high impact housing for long lasting performance, multiple use options, including freestanding, mounting holes, and integrated hook. You're looking at 1,000 RPM on low, 2,000 RPM on high, and a weight of 5.1 pounds. Okay, so you can see here, it's got some locking positions, variable speed dial. Here's the thing, it said 1,000 RPM on low and 2,000 RPM on high, but that dial seems infinitely variable. You'll see back here, we have our inlet and we have our battery port. We have multiple ways of hanging this thing if you wanted to. So I guess it comes on at 1,000 RPM. That's pretty cool. You're looking at $39.99 for the dual power job site fan. And like we said earlier, Hercules and Harbor Freight incentivizes you to buy a battery and a charger with the bare tool. If you do that, they're going to discount this or give you an instant rebate of $25. This job site fan on the Harbor Freight website has nine total reviews. Starting to see a trend here. Out of those nine reviews, 100% of customers would recommend this item with 4.9 out of five stars. BKD says, just got this fan 12 days ago and already has been getting a lot of use. Lasts a long time on a two and a half amp hour battery, which is all I have tried on it. The only issue I'm having is that my motor sounds like the bearings are bad in the motor. Good thing for the 90 day, no questions asked warranty. I'll be taking this one back before the 90 days is up or when it quits. I like this fan a lot. I'll love it come summer. Finally, Herc is coming out with the 20 volt cordless line and it has all been fantastic. And that's from February 12th, 2021. I mean, Hercules has had a 20 volt cordless platform for a while. I feel like BKD is a little misinformed, but hey, at least he was honest. He still gave it five stars, even though he says his motor sounds like the bearings are bad. But I guess he doesn't mind the extra trip back to Harbor Freight to exchange it out within that 90 days, no, no questions asked. Ours sounds pretty smooth. I'm not hearing any problem with the bearings. My initial impression is it seems like a pretty solid fan. I would suggest if you had a problem with your bearings, yes, exchange it almost immediately. But I like that it holds position. I like that if you buy it with a battery and a charger, it's only 15 bucks. I like that it's got a variable speed dial. I like that it's corded or cordless. Let's move on. To the Hercules, dual power, 2000 lumen LED work light. It's product number HC101B. It's dimmable. It's LED and it tilts just like the fan does. Hercules legendary performance. It says ultra bright, super clear LED generates up to 2000 lumens, 360 degree swiveling cradle, an adjustable handle directs light in any direction. Hybrid power LED operates Hercules 20 volt lithium ion battery or extension cord, compact lightweight design with built in adjustable 
carrying handle for easy portability, delivers up to 27 hours of continuous illumination on the five amp hour battery or plug it in for nonstop lighting. LED light illuminates job site without the heat of traditional halogens. Variable control, dial easily, adjust brightness of LED output, temperature control, electronics, built-in tripod mounting point with additional mounting holes to secure to almost any surface. Flashing light, low battery indicator. Slot designed to easily hang from two by four or easily wrap and store extension cord. Pretty cool. So you're looking at 2000 lumens, up to 27 hours of runtime. It's 3.6 pounds. The light head does not ratchet like the fan head. I like those positive stops in the fan. I'm not seeing it here with the light, but it is adjustable like 360 degrees. We've got a quarter 20 mounting point if you wanted to mount this to a tripod. We have hanging hooks. We have some key mod here. If you were to hang it off the wall, you could put it up like that. You're going to put it on the tripod. You could direct it 360 degrees, or you could carry it like the old man, the, the old creepy guy in Scooby-Doo when he used to walk with his lantern. Wow. Okay. So that's, the, that's high. It, it is dimmable. It's, it doesn't seem like it's infinitely dim, dimmable, but it does have a range up to 2,000 lumens. To give you a better perspective of how bright this light is, we figured we'd turn off all the lights here at the shop to show you. Now, this would be the lowest level. This is the highest level. Let's see if there's a difference of powering it illumination-wise with the extension cord or the battery. That's the illumination with with the battery. As crazy as this sounds, it almost seems brighter with the battery and it does the cord. Is it my imagination? Leave it down in the comment section below. Does it seem brighter with the battery? I will let you know that it was tough. It was a toss up on which one to do next because we still have the oscillating tool to do, but everybody knows that I love a good vacuum cleaner because cleanliness is next to golliness. This is also dual power. So this could run on the 20 volt battery or an extension cord. This holds up to two gallons, wet, dry, portable vacuum with HEPA filter. It's product number HC023B. It says multiple applications, good for auto, home, or shop. Auto interior, bare floors, carpet, concrete, laminate, leather, stairs, tile, upholstery, vinyl, or wood. It's got a washable HEPA wet dry filter, traps 99.97% of dust at 0.3 microns, rinses clean with water. It's got a two gallon tank with heavy duty latches for easy cleaning. A sturdy handle for easy portability. Flexible, crush resistant, inch and a quarter by six foot hose. I like the idea that it's six foot long, it's pretty good. Convenient onboard storage, keeps accessories organized and provides quick access. Powerful built-in blower port easily converts vacuum to a blower. Compatible with the Hercules 20 volt lithium ion battery system for industry leaning runtime. So the specifications say flow rates at 39 CFM on a 20 volt five amp hour battery or 40 CFM on AC 120 volt. The weight of it's 9.9 .9 pounds, runtime is 37 minutes on a five amp hour battery, and it's got two horsepower. Yo, what's pretty cool about this is, I didn't realize, this doesn't have an inlet for an extension cord. It actually has a cord. That's pretty cool. It's got a nice big button up here on the top. I like that. So here's onboard storage, right, for your, for your tool there, for a tool there. I guess the rest of the tools are inside. Let's open it up. The latches seem okay. They don't seem the sturdiest. Here's our filter. I gotta be honest with you. And I know it, they say that it's rated HEPA. No, it just looks like a, a standard paper pleat filter, but I guess it's not. Here's our six foot hose. You can either pop the hose into this position for blower or this position for intake. Here's your crevice tool. It'll run on that 20 volt battery.
just gonna be honest with you. Definitely not the most suction. <laughs> Out of this style vacuum. I will say though, it is enough suction to get the vacuum itself to flex. Not a terrible job of clearing out those holes. Now they say if you plug it into a cord, you actually get more CFM. Let's see if you could plug it in and still have a battery attached without it like blowing up. Yo, did you hear that? Come here. There's a sw there must be some type of switchover that happens inside the tool. Ready? Plug it in. It's like a transfer switch. For those of you with a, home, with a home generator, you'll know what a transfer switch is. Let's turn it on, see if there's any type of audible difference. I almost want to say I can feel a little bit of a difference. Are we flexing anymore? Wow, it is flexing more. So it was able to pull more of that sawdust from the bottom of that blind hole. Leave it down in the comment section below. I feel like I'm hearing an audible difference in the noise being generated from corded to cordless on this. I'm gonna let you know that this dual power vacuum is $119.99. Remember, if you buy a battery and a charger when you're buying this vacuum, you're gonna get $25 off. Instantly, they say. It has 12 reviews on the Harbor Freight website with a total of 4.8 stars out of five. 100% of customers would recommend this item. And Mario, not Luigi, Mario says, extremely pleased. This is a perfect portable wet dry vac. Had a situation where a block drain was causing the floor of my car to collect with water after heavy showers. And this soaked up the mess in minutes. Love the fact you could run off a battery or a wall outlet. Has its own attachments built in and can also be used as a blower. Splurge on the five amp hour Hercules battery just for a peace of mind knowing it'll last in the field. Okay, so we're gonna test this like a normal person would test it. <laughs> we're gonna get as close to the water we wanna soak up and then we're gonna run it. Now, I think we should run it cordless first. You'll see it's a five amp hour battery. It's fully charged, okay? So no shenanigans. But before you do that, take your HEPA filter off. So it came pretty doggone close to vacuuming up I mean, maybe we were a little over two gallons. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, we're full. Okay, we dump her. If we dump her back in. I mean, pretty impressive, especially on battery power. Let's do it corded. hit its maximum capacity. Now, I don't know if it's the way I used the suction, but it, it seemed like that extra one CFM makes a big difference. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. The Hercules brushless 20 volt lithium ion oscillating multi-tool. It's product number HCB42B. And how do I know? that you've all been waiting for this because I've been waiting for this part of the video myself. Couldn't wait to get to this part. 
It says brushless motor, up to 45% more runtime. It's got included multi-tool accessories, constant power on their load, keyless blade change. High performance brushless motor delivers more power and runtime while running cooler and longer. 3.1 degree oscillation angle range for maximum cutting performance. Six speed variable control dial matches speed to application. Compact lightweight design with barrel grip for maximum comfort. Keyless blade changing system, ultra bright LED provides clear view of work. Ergonomic design minimizes vibration felt by users. Soft start motor for accurate cuts on startup. Constant power maintained speed while under heavy loads. It says to use a five amp hour Hercules battery. Oscillations are between 8,000 and 19,000. The tool weight's 2.6 pounds and tool length is 11.5 inches now here's the thing is hercules 20 volt lithium ion brushless oscillating tool actually a makita now here's the deal on this brushless oscillating tool from hercules it's not very inexpensive when you when you chalk it up it's literally 99.99 now if you were to buy a battery and a charger you'd get 25 dollars off but even at that point there are top tier tool companies during certain promotional times of year that sell $99 oscillating tools that come with an amp and a half or two amp hour batteries. Now you're not getting a charger, but the reality is how many chargers do you need? What I'm saying is, is this really a good deal? The other thing with this is you got a 90 day no questions asked warranty where those other top tier brands are offering you know, five years of warranty at the same price, at the same cost. Let's see what the customers that purchase this though have to say. They have nothing to say. Because if you buy this tool for $100, you'd be the first to review it. There are zero reviews, zero stars. If you're already on the platform, and you are already invested in the batteries and the charging system, you are already bought into Hercules, are you going to jump platforms for a different oscillating tool. I, you know, that's one of them things, like, you're probably not. So it's good that they offer an oscillating tool. They give you some blades. These are Hercules blades. This is wood, plastic, and metal. Hook and loop adapter. Pretty cool. That's nuts. And a bunch of sanding sheets. Probably different grit sandpapers. Nice rubber overmold up top. I will tell you the handle and the, and the front forward case here, they feel a little plasticky. See the variable speed dial. Pretty tactile. Let's see how it sounds and starts. It does have that soft start. I'm gonna tell you, without a blade on here, I can feel some vibration. It's not that bad. Hercules also sent along some of their new oscillating tool blades here. This is their carbide tooth blade. It's saying three times longer in hardest materials. It's got a universal fit, which means it will work here. Okay, it's thick kerf. It says flush cut offset set design with anti-jam, anti-jam reduced neck design. It's got high strength welds, inch and three eighths wide. It's good for metal, wood, plastic, woods with nails, and drywall. This is product number HA211-8. Now, here's the thing with this. $15.99 for this single. You know, you're gonna have to, to judge. Is it worth it to go to a different store? Even if you were gonna pick up the Hercules oscillating multi-tool, is it worth it to go to a different location that sells other oscillating tool blades that would be longer lasting at a more competitive price? For those that did use these oscillating tool blades, out of five stars, they've given this one 4.3 and 85% of customers would recommend this item. It seems like everybody loves oscillating multi-tools. Nobody likes oscillating multi-tool blades. Everyone hates the blades. Everybody thinks that they're too expensive. I don't think that there would ever be like a 4.8, 4.9, or a five, five-star oscillating multi-tool blade. I just don't, unless it's, you know, unless it's Diablo. Like Diablo has m oscillating multi-tool blades. They're unbelievable. I mean, unbelievable performance. And, and they're, they're rated very high. But then there are those of, of you that say, yeah, they're, they're also very expensive. Let's see about that blade change. Yeah, not bad. Fits pretty good. Let's pop on our plunger. Lock down our latch. We 
have a rubber-based battery that creates a nice amount of friction here. You could see it. Like, and you still saw the walking in this tool. That means that if you are a remodeler or a contractor that uses an oscillating tool frequently, and maybe you're a flooring contractor, you use this to scrape up VCT tile with a heat gun, or you know, you're using this to make drywall cuts, flood, you know, you're making it, whatever it is that you're using it for, you're using this day in and day out. <laughs> That vibration is gonna travel through your hands, up your arms. It could cause arthritis, carpal tunnel. There's a nice amount of vibration here, but I know what you wanna know. How does it cut? bad cut did a pretty good job guess the blade did a pretty good job it is carbide let's make another one Plenty of power. I'm not able to stall it. You know, maybe it's the the blade itself. Maybe I should swap to a wood blade instead of this carbide multi multi-purpose blade. I'm gonna switch to the wood plastic and metal blade. See if this cuts any more aggressively. pretty good there's no burning through the ward I don't know maybe it could benefit from a better blade I, I don't know it's definitely not the fastest cutting it definitely has some vibration is it a bad tool I don't I don't think so I will say though at the price point it's at you know it's only coming with a 90-day warranty it does have nice bright lights you got tools blade change which is still a little bit clunkier of a blade change at this point of the game. You only have that 90 day warranty where at that same price point, you're able to get like up to a five year warranty. I know it's brand new and all, but it seems like you're paying a premium for this one, in my opinion. These newer offerings from Hercules, some seem very competitively priced. You also have an incentive to buy a battery and a charger to grab that $25 discount when you're buying bare tool. Problem is, how many chargers do you really need? Maybe if there was a battery discount when buying a bare tool, that would make more sense for a lot of people. When it comes to the dual power options, like the light, the vacuum, the fan, you don't need a battery or a charger to operate them. So if you're comparing apples to apples, maybe this does get the job done at a cheaper price. And finally, when it comes to the battery powered solution here, if you're already on the Hercules platform and you need an oscillating tool and you didn't want to jump platforms, yeah, I mean, now you have an oscillating tool solution. But as far as oscillating tools go, for that price, there are oscillating tools with better warranty and in my opinion, better blade change, maybe even more power. I guess where we're at right now is you have to ask yourself, does Hercules really offer damn good tools at a great price or whatever their slogan is? And I think that there are some things that make sense. There are other things that don't make sense. But as an informed consumer, you have to make that decision. Is it the right price? for you. The other thing is, does the Hercules platform satisfy your needs as far as expansiveness? Do they offer the tools that you need to complete your task, to do your job? Only you know the answer to that. But leave it down below. 
What do you think of the Hercules line of tools in Harbor Freight? Do you love their tools? Do you hate their tools? Do you think they're overpriced? Should they give you a warranty for the price that they're charging instead of just 90 days, like no questions asked? We want to know. Leave it all below. Also, do you think I did an unbiased job here of reviewing these tools? Do you think I should have crushed them more or do you think I should have talked them up more? We want to know. Leave it all down below. With that, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet. Well, smash this button here. After that, Watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.